Aaron CG here. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to create an updated version of my set home and home system. Now, the point of the system is to allow the player to place a, um, to basically set their spawn instantly so they can set their, their spawn by tossing the item, such as this. And now, at any point in time, that player can teleport back to their spawn like this. So it works um, very, very effectively and it's flawless. Um, I, re I basically realized after making an IPRE system that um, there's a few conditions that could cause a, a mishap. Um, for example, if you were to spam throw the home item, um, undesirable things would happen. Like you actually would lose experience and could lose your items and things like that, which is obviously not what we want. Um, and also sometimes certain game rules would be left on when they shouldn't be left on or left off when they shouldn't be left off. Um, thanks to uh, just redstone jankiness. Um, but this this system, um, this this improved version will not have any of those setbacks. So of course, um, if you don't already know, this is a concept taken from the days of Java, where in the in the days of Java, the reason we call it um, set home and home, it's just simply a, a nod to Java, where there were many plugins that had features like this, where players could literally type into chat slash set home, and it would actually just by typing it in chat create their spawn point, and then they could do type slash. So, um, slash home and then teleport back to that home. So this is as close as we get to that here in Bedrock. Um, so here's the system. Um, there are a few changes in, uh, again, all these blocks from, from the previous system. So um, don't assume that you know, um, don't assume that anything, like if that something hasn't changed, just double check it if you've already built this before. So repeat and unconditional, always active. And again, I'm gonna go over this codes really quickly. Um, just pause if you need to, uh, just enter it as you see it. Um, I will note, however, that uh, this system is currently looking for a, an item called set home, and that can be any item. It doesn't matter what the item is. It just has to be renamed in an anvil. Um, obviously, I have included a slash in the name, and because I've included a slash in the name, I need to have quotation marks. Um, otherwise, the code um, doesn't work. Um, so normally, you don't need quotation marks unless there's a space in the word, um, like a gap. But because, that's not, um, because we have a slash, we need these quotation marks anyway. Um, if this slash was in here, we wouldn't even need these quotation marks because you don't need them for single words. Um, but again, um, if you are going to change the name of what this item is, then you need to do that, do that throughout this code and make sure you don't mess that up. Okay, chain conditional always active. Uh, now we're just going to issue a few uh, messages and silence to the player so they know the system actually worked and their, their spawn point was set. Chain conditional always active. Um, here's the sound playing to the player. Um, just again, affirming that the system has worked. Chain unconditional. Now this last one has to be unconditional. Make sure you don't uh, mess that up. Chain unconditional, always active. Um, and now, now we're gonna destroy that item. Okay, so that's the first um, set of commands. Now this that first set is responsible for just the set home item. Um, again, as you can see here, when I place it, it, it tells me home is set. And it doesn't matter where it is. I can go over here and stand on this block right here, place my home. And then when I teleport back to my, my home, um, there, there we are, we're back on our, on our home. Um, okay, uh, oh yes, I should also probably mention that one of the awesome things about the system is it works flawlessly across dimension. Um, and uh, yeah, actually I should just show you that right now um, before we get into the rest of it. Let's go to creative and fly over quickly. Um, it's important, of course, that it works across dimension. Oops, across dimensions. So back, back now in uh, survival, we can teleport back over, and we're back just like that. We're back to our home. Um, and additionally, uh, one of the things you should know is this: this system does not work if you are currently in creative. Um, you can you can definitely set your home while you're in creative, which sets your spawn point. But this portion here, the home um, portion, will not work if you're in creative, um, and that's because the home portion is technically killing your character. Um, when you toss a home item and then it's it's bringing you back to your spawn by virtue of death um, and you cannot die in creative mode so that don't if this is not working um, for you uh, just make sure you're not in creative mode um, and that's probably the problem okay um, okay now so here is our chain that deals with the home item so repeat unconditional always active now this has to have a 10 ticket delay Make sure you put 10 ticks in there if you want this to work absolutely flawlessly. Um, literally, the system comes down to the ticks of delay whether or not it works right. So if you don't put 10 ticks of delay, it's not gonna work right. Um, 
Now just enter this command, do you see it? Same note applies to here. If you're gonna change the name, um, change it to whatever you want. Um, enter the rest of the code as you see it. Now, um, this assumes that, um, so this, this system basically is going to turn keep inventory on, and it's also going to turn immediate respawn to on. Um, if those are already on or off, or, and you, you don't wanna mess with those settings, um, then you just have to change these accordingly. Like you don't need to include these it depends on what your settings are. So for example, if you already have keep inventory on and it's it's always on, then you can you don't even need this command block because you don't need to, this command block, what it's gonna do is it assumes that by default, you have keep inventory off and instant response set to off. And what this is gonna do is it's gonna turn both of those on and then it's going to eventually kill your character, delete the item and, um, and it will teleport you back to, um, teleport you back to your spawn by virtue of the instant respawn. Okay, so that's how that works. So again, um, just copy this um, and then chain conditional always active is the second command here. And here again, we're gonna change uh, immediate respawn to true. And now we're gonna play a sound, chain conditional always active, sound at the player. Um, now we're gonna kill the player, chain conditional always active. Uh, and here's, here's the command. Again, this will not work if you're in creative and you try doing that. Uh, chain condition always active. Uh, here we need to set a certain location to a redstone block. And then finally, chain unconditional. Again, this has to be unconditional, always active. We're gonna kill that item that we're looking for called home. So that location that we're sending a redstone block is actually right here. So that, that yellow um, mole right there is where the um, redstone block will appear. Right beneath that, you want a repeat unconditional needs redstone block um, with a set block, um, one above it to air. Okay, so that sets the block right above the air so the redstone gets removed. Um, over here um, is where we restore the game rules back to what we want them to be by default. So again, this corresponds to whatever your settings normally are. Um, now you want to put them back to whatever they typically should be. So in this case, if you, um, most people will play with without immediate respawn and without keep inventory. So if that's the case for you, then you would do this exactly as I did, and this will um, disable keep, in keep inventory and will also disable immediate respawn. So um, here are the commands for that. And this is impulse, unconditional needs redstone, and this has a seven ticks, seven ticks of delay, and you need to have seven ticks of delay. Um, I did a lot of testing and 10, 10 and seven was the best value, so 10 ticks of delay in this one, and then seven ticks of delay in this one was the best, um, the best most uh, reliable combination that I found. So impulse unconditional needs redstone, again, we're just changing that game rule back to false, turning in, uh, and keep inventory off. And here, chain unconditional, always active, no ticks of delay or anything. Um, we're going to turn immediate respawn back to off, so false. So um, the reason this works so well is because the old system, you could technically break it by spamming the home item. Um, that will not happen anymore. So as you can see, there's a little bit of a delay now. It's not instant um, like before, but it also is that it's, it's infinitely more reliable. Um, so there's no chance that you can spam the item and actually lose your experience. As you can see, I have 100 like, um, levels of experience, and no matter what, I'm not losing that. Um, so that's what that specific tick delay arrangement does for us. Uh, make sure that it's 100% reliable, and even if the player, some for whatever reason, spams this item, they, they can't break it. Um, so another thing that's really great about the system, again, this is actually the best way to build the system on all of Bedrock. They're the only other way to make a set home system um, that I am aware of, um, unless some crazy find comes out in the future, is a system that actually teleports you to an end portal and then that end portal teleports you back to, um, back to your spawn. The reason that system is actually far inferior to this um, is because that system actually requires you to load the end and then bounce back to wherever your spawn was. So it's uh, it's a lot more slow and cumbersome. It takes a ton more time to actually get to where you intend to go. This is uh, instant. Um, and also again, it works across dimensions. So if you're already in the same dimension, you're not, you're only ever, you know, you don't have to load any additional dimensions. The other one always requires you to load an additional dimension. Um, it always requires you to load the end. So this one is, Again, this with the best version of this um, possible in Bedrock. Um, and you can spam this all you want and you're fine. <laughs> it's actually kind of funny with instant respawn, how you just kind of fall over like that. 
Uh, yeah, anyway, so I believe that was all I had to say. Um, one thing uh, I do recommend you do um, is I, I recommend um, when you have an item that the players are in your server, the players would interact with in order to activate a system. I think it's nice to have like a, a cloning location that's in your maybe in your spawn, like if you have like a world spawn every everybody congregates. It's not a bad idea to have a chest set up um, where there's an out of sight chest that then clones to another chest those items. That way whenever players are low, I'm just gonna get rid of these because they're gonna be cloned away. So now, um, let's say I actually I'm a player, I don't have any more of the item, I need to go get more. I can just go to this chest and grab some more and as you can see it automatically replaces itself. Um, so I get myself home. Uh, actually, normally, let's see. So yeah, 10 ticks, 20 ticks, delay is probably fine. Um, all right, so uh, very simple, but obviously all you need, all you need for this is one one command. Uh, actually, this is typed. I typed this a while ago, uh, and I actually hate typing like that now. Um, this is the way I prefer to type um, all these commands now. I, I don't I don't space out till days anymore. Um, it just looks e it's just easier to read. Anyway, so of course, it's very simple to do. All you need to do is make a trap, make a trap chest. You can rename it if you'd like to, um, and just uh, just all you need is basic redstone wiring that goes to a hidden um, command block, and then a chest uh, somewhere above it or whatever, and just have it clone that that chest um, to the location of the chest the player interacts with. So here's just a simple command. This is just going to clone the chest right above the command block to the coordinates right here, which is this right here. So very simple, but this is how you can make it so players don't have to just rename their items on, on their own to use experience. They can actually just come to your um, spawn and then collect more of these items. So that's everything guys. Uh, thanks for watching. Um, let me know if you build this and uh, yep, sorry for taking so long to get this out. Um, it's, it's, yeah, I don't know. I've been busy. All right, thanks guys. Have a good one.